Hey guys, it's the 25th of December, it's 6.31, Merry Christmas. No, I'm not actually getting up just now. I've been for about, what, 20 minutes? Basically, I've just slept from fucking, what, the last 8 or 9 hours? If you're wondering why, well... The reason I've done, went and done this is because out of the first amount of sleep, I'd really had shit a night shift. So I've been up for basically nearly a full day, and I'm more or less required it. So, welcome to a Christmas vlog, as you can see. It kind of looks like any other vlog, so you're probably wondering, wait, what the fuck's the difference? Well, we're not in Glasgow. See, if you had watched the old channel, which is called Cancelled Content, um, the channel that we literally had to stop because our friend got us in serious bother with it. Um, there was what? Christmas 2020. Christmas 21 and Christmas 22, I think we're all in there. I don't remember what, uh, if I recorded for Christmas 2020 or if I did anything for that. I'm actually unsure. Christmas 2021, right? Me and my, me and my family and my step on family, we all went up. This lodge in Abbey Moor, which I didn't see back then. The vlog channel was what the way I had chosen to do that was I filmed across all three days because random clips here and there and made it into one long vlog, which I felt was out, you know, not a bad way to go about doing it. And then Christmas last year was what standard Christmas. I genuinely, my brain, I'm trying to remember what the hell we did for Christmas last year. <laughs> That's actually aggravating me. I don't remember properly. I believe my nan may have came from from Edinburgh, which is actually where I am now. I'm spending Christmas with her this year. Um, my family basically always thought her always for place for Christmas, which I thought was a bit unfair. So, was it? I mean, I've not had a Christmas, and I grew up in Edinburgh, right? I've pointed this out before, and I've not had a Christmas here for about nine years. So it's yeah. It's nostalgic. <laughs> mm. Yeah, um, first for an update here, um, honestly, um, one of my friends was pointing out to me the other night, like, could you imagine making, if we did these vlogs back when we were kids on Christmas, how cool would that would have been cool. Um, I've got some vlogs merging, as we speak, it, you know, they're being ready to upload, which is good, because I do have a backlog of them, which I would rather was sorted. So, the Christmas day one will not be up on Christmas day. I, my goal is to have this up on the 26th. So, I obviously got today off work, right, it's Christmas day. Um, for those where it doesn't feel like Christmas Day, <laughs> um, I'll probably all share memories of Christmas in this vlog, like, that's something someone suggested I do, so maybe that's something I, I end up just kind of, you know, sprinkling throughout the whole thing, um, which, you know, that is not a bad show, that's, that's not a bad idea. Uh, to quote Master Oogway, there are no accidents. <sighs> right. Yeah. Um, because you know what, given what time it is right now, I can tell you for a fact, as a kid, we would be fucking rushing it down the stairs. Right now, because the house I grew up in had two floors. Do I set up stairs and all that inside it? I, no, I've only ever stayed in one. I've stayed in many houses that I've had up down, upstairs, downstairs, right? But it's like the stairs have been on the outside, like blocks of four. I stayed in one house as a kid that I tried stairs and shit and shit like that. <laughs> um, I'm trying. I'm not correct on the nine years information part. <sighs> I think I'm actually incorrect about that whole thing, you know, where I spent what Christmas. Because. My brain wants to say that Christmas 2014 was the last one I spent in Edinburgh. I think that's correct. 
I'll have to try to think why that I I believe Christmas two thousand fourteen would be right. Um. Yeah, in fact, I may have actually spent it in this exact house. If I'm trying to remember, I believe Christmas twenty fourteen would have been spent in. Yeah, I think it was actually. So nine years, and I do not like think realizing that that was nine years ago. I do not like that thought. <laughs> that is. 2014, nearly 10 years ago, what in the fuck? When did that happen? Watch it, you just watch, it went from Christmas vlogs to watching a video about someone feeling old because they're realising how old they are. And the guy apparently played with his hair as if it's like a fucking odd. So one thinks that I put my hair as an autism figure. <laughs> oh well. So, my plan is more like just, I oh, back off, can I just chill out? And relax. <gasps> we'll go back to sleep probably. I don't know. Oh, God. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to do a lot. I've been looking on eBay and stuff. I've kind of decided that um, in regards to my no set buying, someone's going to fucking crucify me for this in the comments. My rule, I'm actually been sitting trying to think out the exact rules of this going forward. Because in this, this will be where my Lego ends up. Right? Basically, you know, when I come to uni, because keep in mind, for those of you who have not been watching the channel, this is the room I will be staying in when I'm doing my uni work. So, yeah. Um, City. I probably should focus on trying to get some of those minifigures from Cloud City. But a part of me is super tempted, right? To add it into the rule, I'm allowed sets 50 quid or less. See, you know, Lego Star Wars, some of you might go, well, yeah, how is your, you've not really got no set buying room, have you? Technically, it kind of does work. Because, see, in Lego Star Wars, right, you can buy modern sets, right, for under 50. Kinda. Like, Lego and pricing is fucking nuts. Um, these days. But, you can, however, buy some old sets at that price, but not a lot, not a lot of them. Um, mostly old battle packs would be what I'd end up buying. But listen, guys, I'm going to go chill out and do what I'm going to do. I'll see you guys later on. Once I'm up, like, getting up and shit. This will be a long one. Um, the longest vlog we've had on this channel is an hour and a half. I'm looking to beat that. So I'm currently working on getting all older vlogs merged. The one I'm working on right now is currently what? 51% merged, so we're doing alright. So, see you in a couple hours or something. So, we're making progress. We've more or less got just about every single one merged. I think one just finished, so, yeah. <coughs> I'm just in the good time, dude, because it says I can only have 26. <coughs> 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 26 more minutes worth of food. It's, what, quarter past eight? Okay, it's 29 minutes past eight. Okay, so I, I, uh, <laughs> I had that wrong. So, yeah, I've been just about to random my shit on YouTube, and I sat for about 10 minutes watching this really, really weird video of an animatronic. Um, Cody, I've already sent him the name of the animatronic, I've not said, I, I actually, no contacts whatsoever, just sent him the name of a random animatronic, and that's kind of funny. Yeah, this is how a Christmas vlog to start. <coughs> mm. The name of the animatronic is called Uncle Clunk. <laughs> Creepiest fucking weirdest thing I've ever seen, so that's kind of interesting. So... It's half past eight, I'd imagine by nine o'clock things will get going. Um, I honestly just cannot be bothered getting out of bed, I'm like... But, for context, right, my normal bed at home, the mattress has been worn to fuck. I've had that bed for five years. This bed I'm in right now... ...is more than double that. Right, this... I believe my nan moved into this house about... ...summer 2012. This bed is from then. And this bed feels like not like I can actually do that and not feel a spring. I have to be careful how I move about on my bed at home. 
And the reason I've never replaced the mattress is purely because I'll be moving in here in the next six months, so it's not a problem. Um, I'll update you guys as soon as shit starts happening. Mm. So the morning has 100% began. I'll show you what I got from like both people that really got me things. Um, well, I was just seeing the thing that Cody comics, I showed you that early. Cool. Look at this guy, this guy is nuts. <laughs> ah, he's trying to call him on. Ah, he's trying to call him on. <laughs> yeah, he's in an excitable mood. So, gonna be honest with you, right? I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but soon I initially woke up. It still sounds so bad. Also, yeah, there's uh, there's no there's no snow for Christmas. <laughs> um, I initially forgot it was Christmas. I don't know. The lead up to Christmas just didn't feel like it, even though despite the fact that I was working, obviously I work in retail. That's the third Christmas I have done. Not turn on the flashlight, but it, yeah, at no point did it feel like it was actually fucking Christmas. Let's get some bread on the go. That, there we go. I was told it was white bread for me. I believe this is said white bread. The best feature of a camera, and I like to point out the fact that I can flip it, so it's not in a clip. So, I finished merging all the vlogs. I think we're completely caught up. I think we are. Um. Finally, um, I finished uh, doing the video for the advent calendar an hour and 15 minutes. I want to know who else is taking that long to do a goddamn advent calendar. Keep in mind, I was opening them day by day and filming them in real time. Not like it's one long video. Whereas if I was doing it as one long video, it probably would have been a hell of a lot shorter. So, what are the plans for today? Well, probably hear from a few people text messages and phone calls wise, you know, kind of the usual. Um, I put money in people's banks and stuff like that. Um, once the cloud city thing clears completely, I should be left with 600 or within like the kind of 590 to 600 range. Honestly, hopefully, this one doesn't get copyrighted the amount of goddamn Christmas music you're going to hear, but I'm pretty sure in the UK, our Christmas music, I'm going to have to Google this and check, is like, was it? public domain, most of it anyway, so tell me if I'm right on that, I'm, right, maybe I've heard that somewhere and I've got the info wrong, but is Christmas music not public and not in the public domain? Or have I just gotten that wrong? Because I would really actually like to know that one. Not just because it's in the vlog, but just in general, I want to know the questions, the answers to very boring questions that no one has asked in, literally, yeah, you can hear that, it's probably going to feel like it's Christmas. I just want to get the Christmas dinner going. Um, then it will really start feeling like, For me, like, as a kid, obviously, it was the excitement of getting a fucking Lego, because that's all I asked for. Right? For Christmas growing up. But, that and, like, you know, video games occasionally. But, it'll be interesting. I don't know, sorry, something I think funny about myself is, see, as an adult, the highlight of Xmas is the food. Like, see, for the last, kind of, three years, I've tried going, last time I actually like, asked for something for Christmas, I was fucking when I was about 17. And it was the brand new at the time Wiggle Straw was for Apple Force Battle Pack, like the really big one, if you know what I'm on about. The big mega one with the walker and the black speaker. I remember asking for two of those, because that army of them at the time. I think the most amount of that set I bought would be eight of them. I think I went as, yeah. I went as far as eight copies of that set and stopped after that. Do you want to stop? I got bored of the build. The most recent 501st set, which was drawn from this year, I think I bought four of those and then got bored. But this new battle pack that's come out, I'm probably going to buy a good eight of those because it's got regular coins in it. Mm. So it's 10 to 11. Most of this day we'll just be chilling out and relaxing. Um, that's all I really plan to do. I don't know if you people already. So, you know, that's kind of cool. Mm. Oh, but I don't want my phone to tell me the weather in place. Yeah. 
Well, that's enough phone. I do not want to know the weather in fucking Durham. Alright? I thought it was location based. Right, this is not. I'm not even fucking even. Hmm. Weird. Hmm. This is just quite random. I didn't take much to get into randomness. Um, I tried the UDM disc on the PSP with the Family Guy Star Wars. Holy shit, it's like watching it. Like, it's really good quality. You know, given like the format skill damage. I'm kind of, I was expecting to be good quality because if you play the game, like say you play a game on the PS2, you know, you can't usually tell the quality between the two. So, you know, from the flash off. Hi. Cole, what are you so excited about? Eh? What? What? So it's been if you like Christmas. <laughs> I suppose you could say. So I'm going to state the obvious, but I feel like I'm going to dumb. We're not going anywhere today. I. There's nowhere to go. Like. Ads down around the corner, not gonna be on. Obviously. <laughs> no, nope, Snapchat's going to make Can I have a glass, a cup of milk, I don't know why. You know, I just want what I want. <laughs> so I'm thinking, right, after doing the budgets and after figuring out, like, I don't get paid for another 32 days. Kind of a joke, right? Basically, my work gives us a pay a week early, but it means we lose, like, my pay was nine fifty. I could have basically gotten a grand or more if they'd pay me a week from Friday. Obviously, I need the money on Friday, so I'm not going to complain for that part of it. So, basically, I need to wait five or it was five weeks on Friday to get paid. So it's a longer waiting time, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. But I've done the numbers, so I can. What am I exploring with all like? Basically, I've got myself an interesting Lego challenge with it. What small set can I get for 50 quid? Which, I think my first thought would be a battle pack because I'm very curious to see where I can go with it. No, I don't order anything today, obviously. I don't see a point in ordering anything today. I'd be very surprised if I did. Mind you, I know what I'm fucking like, so if I hit, you know, that could change. Another sandwich. Yeah, I'm that much of a greedy fucking cunt. Screw it. It's Christmas. I will fucking go with my cunt. I will not be told otherwise. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah, Merry Christmas, anyone watching? That feels weird to be singing a lot. That feels very strange to be singing. Sorry, so, I'm gonna write this then before we're gonna end up recording, but. Yeah, this could be me talking about PSPs, fucking like, or anything else, and making sandwiches. This is, this, this is a very strange bit of internet content. Right, so, next update, right? I don't know, right? I'm gonna try and get you maybe one more time between now and dinner, which dinner's not, like, over, like, probably like another good five or six hours, so. I can't take us flopping through the TV, seeing what's on, you know, for Christmas, because, you know, we'll be showing movies and we'll be doing all that kind of stuff and just, you know, 
doing oh, 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 you can see she's talking to her apparently she's talking to the parrot I'll be very shocked if it talk back because apparently that parrot only knows one phrase and I remember this in particular from being a child the one phrase that that thing fucking knows is literally fuck off so yeah I know that because it's told me to fuck off many times and you, I'm kind of used to that phrase from people so it doesn't really have an effect <laughs> uh, right sandwich um, so I'll update you guys probably at some point but once I get dressed because I'm going up my breaking up my Christmas Star Wars Sure. So that person's not a snap. They're just a mad chat. I'm gonna quickly shove the butter back in, but yeah. This will be an interesting one. I'll let you guys know what sex I'm looking at later on, but it's all for God's sake. Please don't order anything to waste a couple of days. Let me cut my sandwich in half. So anyway, I'm gonna go, I will see you guys once I get dressed and stuff. Come for half past three, I'm for a nap around kind of twelve-ish. Cause I just feel drained and no energy. You know, I still feel like that. Honestly, I'm not really enjoying Christmas this year. Uh, I, I, I still look at uh, my Christmas at home here, I'm I get the dress myself for the same, but I'm not going to do it. Right now, it's up. Okay. Ah, there we go. Well, this is something I've been wearing what, every Christmas for the last what, three or four years. I was like, I saw one, well, I was up in college like a few weeks ago. I said to you, so probably like two or three months ago. And there was a bit for people for pleasure when they said, like, there's a guy that I saw wearing this in fucking like August. I'm not bullying no one, but it's like, I don't think I could do that. That's like, that's brave. Yeah, check it out. It's a Star Wars Christmas t shirt. <laughs> Pretty cool though. Um just checking the notifications from when I went out. So right. So, so it's pretty much how I thought that to try and look slightly presentable. Get some clothes on. You see she's got the LED lights and they're all going crazy. We need to have some footage of a Christmas tree and some decorations in this thing. I kind of realise I didn't know any. Got Christmas movies on in the background. Should have those ones on over there. <laughs> Honestly, I feel a lot more better after having napped. Um, just sitting there and bricks it. My mother did say about it. Oh I look at some All we're really missing because it's kind of ironic. You guys may remember like last time I was here back, literally very late November. In fact, last time I was here was on the 1st of December. And 
you may remember from those vlogs is that one where we had like an hour and six minutes, hour and seven minute run times, and it was absolutely like you could not move from snow. So I hope the fuck that's not copyrighted. Um, otherwise you won't be seeing this. So Hello. It won't matter, but it's up loud because she is kind of deaf. Is anyone there? I'm trapped in here. Doing? So. I haven't done until about six or so anyway, but we're going to try using the turkey um, air fryer, but that's not going to work. So there's in there, oh, there's nothing in that Nothing in that one, yeah. But like I said, vegetables. I had to smell it, doesn't smell too bad. And we've got cook and just gun it over, so I'm kidding. Uh, like I said, the weather like makes it feel like any other day, but the light is flashing and the fact that we've got Christmas movies on is actually kind of nice. Oh, there he is. Nope, oh, it's him as well. <laughs> yes, I'm wearing my very holy socks on this the whole waist of days. You right, Lou? Yeah. Come here then. <laughs> yeah, I see you as well. You can see I'm very popular at the moment. <laughs> nice. uh, it's a nice tree, isn't it? Have you been formally introduced? Harry Osborne. Christmas consultant from corporate... Isn't that just the guy that voices, voices virtually in Family Guy? I probably... Now, I call you or that Pat and Oswald that there's a... Santa or Nicky will do... One sec, I'm actually going to mute that just in Saint case. Nick. Um... Nice to you're going to be Santa. Now, hurry up. Follow me. We have work to do and dreams to make come true. There we go, I've muted it for all about while we talk, so... It's pretty cool Christmas tree, Christmas tree's been here fucking longer than me, actually. <laughs> I thought, like, years ago you could buy shit and it wouldn't break in a couple of years. Bet you, eh, this Christmas tree's got, like, fucking fibre optics and shit inside of it. As I said, well, I think that's what you call them. Because it's that, this Christmas tree's at least 25 years old. Guarantee if you were to buy a Christmas tree now, especially one of the ones at b and I'm not... Fine, maybe I'm shitting on being m all. It would break in like two or three years. There's gone one, if this, uh, trust me, see if this was, a, this was a widely viewed YouTube channel, there would be that one person in the comment going, I have bought a damn Christmas tree and it has been in my family for seven years. Okay, I don't think being names existed that one, but you get the point. I think they're like, I think being names like a what, early 80s company? I'm sure I googled it one time, out of interest. But fire going on, the fire that is not real and is electronic. <laughs> got some tinsel. I thought they kind of could show the Christmas decorations, but eh. You guys think of the Christmas shirt. This, this is pretty cool. So, uh, what time is it? Anyway, it's... Honestly, it feels later than it is. I've slept the majority of the day. Um, the reason I think that I've slept so much is probably simply down to how I've been feeling. Probably because, I don't know. Um... I think it's because I've spent the last couple of weeks night shift in college, and I don't think, like, the only sleeping I've really done is between the night shifts. Like, substantial amounts of sleeping. Fuck, I was late for college. Um, two out of three days last week. Um, I obviously had to make up some random excuse, like, when I was going in with lectures, but that was purely because I was sleeping over the time. Which, not good. <laughs> oh, this is great. Yeah, I found that distracting ball thingy. She has water. So it make this go like really fast. How do do it again? Oh, I think I got it. Yeah, there we go. It's doing that thing like. You know, in case you forgot, um, the whole of this fucking YouTube channel. Had ADHD. 
But no, I've been looking at some of the deals, and I'll be honest, oh, that's my charger. Um, I'm going to plug that back in, it's been helpful for it. The environmentalists are going to go fucking mental over this. Oh well. Um, can't wait for Christmas dinner. See, if I was at home right now, here's what one would be going on. Um, I would have been terrorised by every single fucking child in the house. The whole family would have came round and fucking, I don't know, driven us all up the wall and all that. But I'm kind of enjoying the kind of peace and tranquility this Christmas. Quite a bit. This is a modern Christmas movie? Really? I don't know what this movie is, right? I know it's a Christmas movie, fuck people dressed up as Santa Claus and shit, but I just saw, I, the way the camera quality was, right? I don't know why, but I assumed that this was a 90s movie. Me, right? I assumed this was a 90s movie. They're pulling out smartphones. <laughs> um. I feel like most of the classic Christmas movies everybody thinks of, and I don't just mean Home Alone when I say this, like most of the classic Christmas movies people will think of, I'm going to get the Christmas tree in the background while I'm talking. Um, most of the ones that people would think of would be from the 80s and the 90s, me who didn't exist in either one of those decades, and yet I am fucking two decades old. Fuck's sake, um, uh, I've, I've put it on mute just for this, it's because I don't need sound bars, it's... You know, I don't want to play around with the fact that, hey, this clip might get copyrighted. I think if it's going to get copyrighted, it will be, but... There's a way you can do it. That I've never tried, but I think it takes a way longer to come out. Put it under human review, because a robot would just detect the audio. But the way I see it, you should never get copyrighted unless you earn money. That's just my view on that subject. Update. So, there's a timing. Well, oh, it is five minutes to six. I had this movie on Netflix for a while. I ended up pausing it like ages ago, like 22 minutes in. I think that's how long it's left. Or is that the overall movie? I forget how Netflix is our time frame. So, also it's now going to be dark outside. Um, Christmas tree, just doing Christmas tree stuff. Can't even see. It is that dark. So, Christmas dinner's on the go, we have a problem the go that the cooker wouldn't heat up enough and then the air fryer, even though some of these big ones will not, so doesn't seem to want to cook the turkey, so... I mean, uh, there was a Christmas dinner crisis. In other news, I've sat on eBay for like ages looking at different themes, so I went through like basically my kind of era for Lego Star Wars collecting is 1999 to 2014. I, even though I didn't, I didn't start buying until 08, like, the reason I go back to 99 is because one of the books I was a kid, the Lego Star Wars Visual Dictionary, goes back that far. So I have nostalgia from looking at the sets. But anyway, I went up to 2014. So much shit that you can buy in that era, it's crazy. For the under 50 price tag. So you can get most of it, like, let's say 90% of those sets that I looked at would have been used, you know, built previously. Which is fine, I mean, I don't really have a problem buying used sets. I mean, a lot of the sets in my collection are ones that I have bought used at really, really decent prices, so it's not really a bother for me. Um, and then, after about, I think I've got like 65 items in my basket, I've bought, do you know what? No, sorry, 70. But do you know what? I'm a fiend that I've consistently said to myself to buy from, and I consistently fucking don't, is Ninjago. Now, I actually ended up, it's ironic because I think this year or last year I sold the one big Ninjago set I actually had. Do you know That's one of those themes that's not like, yeah, the TV show's good and all, but it's mostly nostalgia that holds that theme up for me. So, one goal I've had for Lego Ninjago for a while is to get all the figures from like the first two years, like 2011, 2012, but see Ninjago, the gimmick. Obviously, it's changed. It's kind of changed. It's not Ninjago is nowhere near as cool as it used to be. 
Like Ninjago for me is one of those teams that's like, when are I going to hurry up and kill it? And that's just my opinion. Some people, a lot of people, might disagree with my assessment. Oh, look, he's talking. Oh my god, what's he doing? So, yeah. Um, I probably should... Do you know what? I'm going to assume that no one is epileptic watching this. Um, I feel like a dick so I just point the phone at the tree there. That was not a jib or anything. But anyway, so, basically, the, I remember when I was a kid, right, so it was like 2011, then, like January that year, um, when the set started to roll out, like the first original set, the gimmick for Ninjago, for those of you who don't know, um, is like they had these spinners, you had these little kind of round things, you put the minifigure on them, you pull it as kind of ripcord and it would spin round and round. At least that's what I remember them working that way. Maybe I've got that wrong. I've not, I've probably not touched on the Ninjago spinner in about fucking 10, 11 years anyway, so it's been a while. Um, that was kind of the gimmick with those, oh, he's followed me around, that's, that's the gimmick with those. I would like to collect every spinner, like the original type spinner they've changed. Oh look, it's raining outside, I can just totally see that puddle. Yeah, let's take the camera's picking that up. That was the whole gimmick with the Ninjago spinners, and I'd like to collect all of the original spinners, the actual good ones. They've got things like spinners now, but like I said, they are like spinners. So, I mean, I've held one, I played with my little brother's got one, I don't like them. At all. Maybe it's because I don't have that connection to it. I feel like Ninjago, if it was a theme that had just started today, and it started, um, it came out, and I don't mean that as if it came out the same way it did in 2011 with that look. See, if it was to come out the way it is now, the way kind of modern way it is. I don't think I'd have any interest in the theme. I don't think the theme would have any sort of interest to me was the can. Hey, okay, I definitely need to get rid of you because you're causing problems. This guy, he's alright. Let's take this route the recycling. Any luck? No, I'm tired. Oh, did you get it in your oven? No, I'm tired. Air fryer. Alright. It's like, oh, you got it in the air fryer. You might get a knife in there. So I used one earlier. You couldn't get that kitchen roll in there. Oh, yeah, I'll get you. Oh. Some things fell out. I hope no, I'm no e I'm no eating it. I'm no eating it if there's blood in it. No, I'm saying look. Oh, that looks nice. Right, there's your kitchen rolls there for you. Right, here. Here's the bit. Mmm. Nice. Aye. It's moist. Ah, it's nice. Get in your mouth. I think that tastes good, eh? Well, I had it in the oven as well. Mm. There's nothing in that. Could I put my rope in all that? Yeah, right. Oh, I just did a bit of taste testing there, so... Looks like things are starting to go go well working. That is a very, very strange movie. M was it Malachi's Cove, is how you say it? M Malachi... I've already done this, the phone's probably been paused for nearly an hour. Um, there's your time. Um, yeah, that's what I got her for Christmas. Uh, I'll turn the flash on so you can read it. She likes Pomeranians, that's what that little dog is. That one that gets really excited, oh, so I got her this for Christmas. <laughs> Pretty cool little gift. Um, but yeah, um, 
that's more or less just this is a very strange movie set in like 1880 um like you can tell this movie was like made in the 50s or 60s i might mean, actually i may google this because i'm actually kind of curious but it's like you know the way those kind of r r movies from the 50s and 60s kind of look you know, it's like these are kind of like some of the first films in color but like they've got that kind of the like some of the audio in the movie like feel like it was recorded away from it even though it wasn't i don't know I wonder if there's a way to change the mode on this Christmas tree. I'm actually getting I'm, I'm getting curious. See, I'm, I'm filming the Christmas tree so that it feels kind of like a Christmas vlog. Trust me, if I was actually filming a Christmas vlog at home, I probably would be... It would be all noisy as fuck. See, the thing that they're all doing is they're going through, like, my stepmom's sisters and shit, and that's like the whole family's getting together in one place. It's like one of these large crowds kind of gathering type deals. It's just like that has never been anything that has appealed to me ever, so... Not for me. Um, well, I'm going to go back to my whole eBay search thing. I'm going to continue with that. I've done the first year of Ninjago. But what, like, the 2011 through 12, and some of 13, that's, uh, that's where the nostalgia is for that. I really need to finish that TV show. I think I got as far as the fifth season before I, I wasn't that I gave up. I just would end up busy, like, inundated with a whole bunch of shit. And then I think I just went, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to have to restart the show because I forgot, like, major plot points and... Like, you know, why the show? Like, yep. Ninjago, which I thought for years was a kid's show, actually has a fucking plot to it. Well, so, I'm gonna go, um... I'll probably update you guys once the dinner comes out, and this time I actually mean once the dinner comes out. I'm not gonna continue to prolong it. Um, but yeah, back to the eBay search. I will see you guys later on. Whee! Hey, Neil, I haven't seen you in church. Can I not be afraid you to come? Ah, uh, must have been a while. Yeah. Everybody knows you're a rich man. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Right, I'll be back, back in a minute. I'm gonna go. Alright, I'm gonna get. Alright, I don't want that dog getting it. Alright, it will be. I'm just getting something to drink. Uh, did you sit that cup? Mm. Yeah, sit your chair. Yeah, I'm not wanting any. There's a board man up front. Aye, aye, it's fine. No. Alright. Oh, dropping a fork. Oh, connection. I dropped a knife. Well done, me. Right, let's get stuck in. Checking them. There we go. See, when I'm using a wide angle lens, it says it will not use the battery. So I'm trying to figure out where the fuck my PSPs went. I left it down here because I, 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 I did actually try this out. Like I said earlier, brilliant quality. I like the case on that as well. It's basically just the Star Wars poster. But, you know, with the added stuff to it. My PSPs were in the here. So I, the legs. I left it there. Admittedly, not the smartest place to leave something. There it is. I'm wondering where the hell. Do you know what it is? See, if I hadn't found it now, when I was pack in a couple days, in a day or two, when I'm packing to leave, I would have left this. And I don't want to do that. So, why don't I show you guys? I'm going to make the bed so we've got a kind of neat area for doing this. I'll turn this light on. It is, um, come for quarter past seven. I have I had my Christmas dinner, that was good. So, I, here's what I got. I'll tell you from, so from my family basically back home, because they sent me a few things to open. I got Star Wars socks, even though I'm only 21. I love, I still love shit like that. They got me this coat, which is apparently a free one coat. Um, be interesting to try that one. I've got, see, when I pulled out the thing, right, I was, 
I don't, I don't want to be ungrateful here, but I'm like, oh, fucking horrible. So that's what they got me. My nan uh, gave me, got me quite a few things. I think my family said they'll give me more shit when I go back. So and that's good. I got these gloves, which have so I if they have bits so I can use my phone. So that'll be great for going to work. I got a new hat, which will also be very great for going to work and back. Um, these chocolate orange, like Terry's chocolate orange sensations. Five delicious flavours. Huh. Some body wash, which I, I always like getting these kind of things. Which I don't have to go fucking paying for. Plus, people typically at Christmas will get me nicer versions of what I want to get for myself. I got some of these JBC or GCB heavy duty work socks, which will be great to put on with my boots. You know, for work. Some of this shit ties into work, that's weird, so I got some nice shampoos I've never tried before, so it'll be nice. Um, or green tea shampoo. And I'm pretty sure I've seen this stuff in, so stuff, this in stores before, I'm sure it's expensive. So, yeah. Um, got a conditioner to go along with that, so I might wash my hair tonight or tomorrow. Um, I was going to do it today, but I had to go for a nap. I was so, I was just feeling so tired and sore earlier, that I just had to have one. I also got some, uh, some deodorant, which is cool. Um, also got this here as well, this clock. So I'm gonna keep the majority of this stuff here, like most of well, I'd say majority of it, I mean most of the clock. Basically, um, cause I'll be moving here, I'm just gonna keep it here, that's my plan. Um, I'm gonna be placing these in a bit more gently actually, especially the green tea shampoo stuff. I don't want that spilling. Mm -hmm. So it looks like a very comfortable hat, which is good because my other hat obviously is not no longer around. Um, got socks. Put them in there. Me, me. So yeah, I'm not on a bad Christmas by any means. Um. I said, what do you know what it was? I never even asked for anything. Like, I wasn't even that bothered about Christmas. See, when I woke up this morning, like I said earlier, I didn't, uh, in no way, shape, or form, ooh, duck, felt like, <laughs> felt like Christmas. So, yeah, um, been continuing to have my little look at eBay, you know, see what I can find. Very caught up in looking at different themes and shit. And I said to myself, right, come January 1st, go buy a set. I guarantee you in six days my priorities change. There's that new battle pack that I've discussed before coming out, so I'm definitely going to try and obtain at least a couple of those. I want, like, I, I would like to try and buy four at once. Uh, I don't know why. Like, I, but Listen, maybe just two. It depends. Basically, going into January 1st, I will be fucking spamming the internet trying to buy them from somewhere. Um, I know the entertainer had them because Cody went and bought one fucking, you know, over two weeks early. Lucky bastard. <laughs> he has like eight, eight or nine days early. Um, but yeah, so far Christmas is going really well. Really enjoying. It. Oh, Snapchat. Well, no, so that's a Snapchat that I got eleven minutes ago. Well done, me. Um, <laughs> so I'll be right back. I'm gonna quickly use the toilet. And guess what? You guys can randomly stare like this. Why be? Why be gone for a couple of minutes? Because run time. Probably inadvertently, well, no, sorry, intentionally I did an extra minute for this. Um, but yeah, most of the Star Wars sets I'm looking at were like classic era ones. Do you know what it is? See, having got the Cloud City, which is an 03 set, 
It has all the like the little quirks that classic Lego Star Wars sets have. So I kind of want a few more. But I'm also tempted to go look at maybe crossing a rare minifigure or two off my list. Um, most likely, I'm going to try my darndest to try and get, you know, some of the other Cloud City minifigures. Maybe a Leia or the Luke. The Stormtrooper, I'm not bothered about because I have Stormtroopers. But I, if I, I'll get that exact one eventually. I have the Holy Sword like I previously mentioned. So, what are the plans for us tonight? We'll probably just watch movies and stuff. Um, I don't know if the updates are going to become more frequent after this or less frequent. I haven't really decided on that end. I think that movie is about to finish that, was it? Something Cove. I've already forgotten the goddamn name of it. I also did get these for my family as well. They also shoved these in these six mince pies because someone in the comments is going to call me a freak, but I do like mince pies. Well, nothing else I have to say other than I am going through the chill, so yeah. Let's Google. And this I will record my walkthrough because it adds seconds. If you can't tell, we're trying to make Christmas 2023 one of the longest ones. Again, the epilepsy warning I should probably, I might actually shove that in at the start, just for people's benefit. I don't know if this is any... I hope the fuck someone's had a seizure from watching this. Like I said, showed you earlier. It's pitch black. And it's actually, like, pouring down, so... Oh, and we're caught in something. Oh, half of my phone got caught in the lights. Well, we shall journey on. Turned off the camera flash. These are not Christmas lights, these are always here, but they're just being put on like a Christmassy type setting. I'll say one thing, right? One thing that makes it feel Christmassy for my childhood that we did, that we're doing, is like, right, I'm not someone who enjoys soaps, I know my girlfriend seems to like them, but... um, Yeah, Coronation Street, Emmerdale, like all those kind of shows, when they do their Christmas thing, makes it feel Christmassy. There's me again, you know, got the shirt on. Um, honestly, I a, minute, a couple of minutes ago, I was sitting in so, Do you know what? I should go over to Asda. You know, have a look at the cheap section. And then I went, oh, wait, shit, it's Christmas Day. There'll be pretty much no open. Also, that ball's doing its light up thing. This is what I was trying to get to do earlier. Wait, if I turn off the flash, it might look better. Oh, yeah, it, that looks better. See, once I turn off the flash on the camera, it becomes a hell of a lot more apparent. So I've had a few people text me just been doing that today. Um so that tree is just I can't, most of the I swear to god, see if the um I usually let the thumbnails be whatever YouTube decides them to be, right? But um I've got a feeling Right, I've got a feeling this one's gonna be a tree. Where is she? Oh right, she's in this cage. Right. You are now, yeah. Go on then. Oh, it's mainly a wee bit. Mainly the hand. Oh. So, maybe it goes in and wants to get out of the way. That'll be the puzzle. Yeah. No, no, no. So, I'm just been checking out shit on eBay. I kind of rationalised it that 100 would rather have that as a budget. Of course, I'd rather spend more of the way I'm looking at it like this, right? I'm going to drop a hundred on the battle pack, so let's see what's going on eBay. Most likely, I'm not going to do it. Um, but I'm going to see what deals are out there, because I really look for that much of a budget, but yeah. So I'm watch those. We ended up watching a really weird movie for a bit. By the way, the time is two minutes past ten. Yeah, right down there. Uh, um, we ended up watching that movie I was pointing out earlier, and then we tried watching this other Christmas movie, which we tried hard to get into it, but... Which is one of these movies that's super lazy and, like, I just, none of us could seem to fucking, like, understand the plot or really get any of it. Just absolutely confusing to try and understand, unpack everything that was going on. And then we're fucking for Netflix, and for some reason we ended up watching the movie World Trade Center, which is about, like, the fa Like, it wasn't a documentary, it was, like, a reenactment, and it was all from, like, the cops' point of view. You know, 9-11, it's a fucking depressing, it's a good movie, but it's depressing, it's like... Why we ended up watching that on Christmas Day is beyond me, but 
Normally my family was like we always end up would end up watching really dumb shit anyway, so Yeah. Christmas tree. <laughs> I got a picture of a tree. <laughs> See there's there's me, me my there's the fact for anyone who wants proof that I'm simple. There you go. Oh god. So yeah, we've been messing around with these Christmas lights you bought. We've been pointing like, because you've got quite a few LED strips like them. Hell, there's a this room, this house has crazy amounts of remotes in it. Like it's these type of kind of LED remotes. Just try to see if these lights and it doesn't matter what we've tried. Nothing seems to make them want to work, which is kind of strange. We ended up having trifle as well. So you know, today I didn't start off feeling like a Christmas. Even when I woke up and opened the gifts, I didn't even feel like Christmas. But now it's feeling like Christmas. Maybe that's because to me, Christmas now is just chilling and relaxing. Ted, it was being destructive as fuck. <laughs> uh, so one thing I'm not missing right now is my brother and sister will be going fucking mental. <laughs> What's he doing? What's he being in that tree? What are you doing in that tree? Go! Oh, I've been spotted. <laughs> Done that far shot for his benefit. Ah. <laughs> I don't know what it deals. I think I'm going to try, I've been looking at some things on eBay, I'm gonna, maybe going to try and focus on getting Luke or Leia from the Cloud City, just so I can have those figures done, because it'd be kind of cool if I could get those in. One thing I don't want to have to buy for that set, but I can see myself doing it, is the instructions. See, I would like to review the set, but I don't have the instructions for the set. I was like, came in, I, had, I got the physical build without the figures, instructions, or box. Relatively cheap, and one thing I like about that set is one of my friends point out, like, wait, what about the stickers? 2003, Lego Star Wars had stickers in that era, I think. Like, but, to my knowledge, that was back when they printed out, and Cloud City, that set does not really have a lot of pieces that require print, that's a lot of bait. Like, obviously guys, if you want to go see the set and Google what the hell I'm on about, it's, it's, called, it's Lego set 10123, I'll repeat that, 10123. Is a set number. I think the lights might be faulty. No, they were working when I took them up. But they're just not working now. Aye. Think something's happened to one of the wires. Do you want me to get it? Do you want me to get the light? Oh, I'll go get that light in a minute. I don't think you have because it's no, no, it's no mashed it's in. No, it's no shape. I thought I just stood in shape. What's proper shit there? That's just mud for you to say. Because it's obviously you can't break that stuff. Alright. Yeah. I'm going to get the light. Right, get through. You've got to get through. Alright, so yeah, the set number's 10123. And basically, it's like, see that early era of Lego Star Wars has almost no stickers in it? I'm genuinely trying to think of an early 2000 set that does have any. So they did have stickers back then for Lego, but nowadays all that shit would be a sticker. So I'm going to have a look for the instructions. I guarantee you it's like 100 to 200 pounds for that manual. If it's... wasn't... I'm a collector, right? I've bought some outrageous stuff and I price of four stuff. But an instruction manual, I don't know if I would go that far. A part of me feels like there's a limit, so I'm actually curious. I might go on the Facebook group. And I know what the top comment will be, will be, are you off your head? How much money do you have? And do, don't you know you can get them on Google? Yeah, I know you can get them on Google. I'm just pushing this off my hair here because I wasn't going to wash I was going to wash it today, but I ended up going to sleep for fucking three and a half hours during the day. Tomorrow I will be trying the you know, snow shampoo I showed off earlier. 
So yeah, I'm gonna start looking on websites to see where I can get what and for how much, because that would be quite good if I could get those things. Um. So yeah. There we go, we're looking better. No, I just keep sending me Snapchat, so I keep sending them back, and I'm looking like shit. I don't know, I'm not very bad. Well, maybe I am, maybe you guys tell them to do some of the food a little bit, you know, thingy of their appearance at times. Mind you, if I really could, would I be growing this pet to use folk looking weird? That's up for debate. So this vlog must be quite long at this point. Um, I've enjoyed making it. It's not gonna, it might slow down from here. I don't think this one will go past midnight. I say that and it probably will, but I'm thinking to myself, why would we go past midnight? If it's a Christmas vlog, shouldn't it really just stay at Christmas? Mind you, we started this one at half six in the fucking morning, so. Yeah. Six in the, yeah. I'm just going to go back through and continue to sit and watch things while, for a while I continue to look on eBay and just to look at all the deals and junk. Um, what's the exact time right now? What are we on? It's nine minutes past ten, so I think I'm gonna go. Right, I'm obviously not done the vlog. You guys can see. I'm. I don't. Obviously, because I'm recording this in real time, I have no fucking clue how long this is. But oh no, I think it's gonna be called Edinburgh Vlog. It's gonna be daily vlog two hundred and twenty-seven or two hundred and twenty-eight Edinburgh Vlog Part Twenty-Five Christmas Day. I think is what this one might be called. Um. Obviously, you're watching this now. This is what I'm in my patchy. This bit here. See? Hmm. Yeah, enough of me trying to figure out my, check my very shitty appearance. I am going to put... Crap, that's not a pawn. One pawn's going to come in or it's not pitch black. You want to take the video? It's a pretty cool shot. I think you'll agree. <laughs> like, the one Christmas shot I actually own, so... Yeah. Um yeah, I kinda of just out the fringe. Yeah, I'm pulling the fuck out of this. What do you expect? Yeah, I took another picture. Some of these dogs are just so disobedient. I'm gonna put some pictures on Instagram. Right, I'm going to take through these other cans because I am not sitting on like a slob, so... Crushed. <laughs> I'm just joking. Wait, actually I have juice in this one. Alright. Never mind then. Take this one through. Um, this one will easily be an hour. I think we've passed the point of, you know... I'm going to guess roughly one now. We're at 50 minutes or an hour. Okay, put that in your mouth. So, no joy with it. It's not working. I took the battery. No. Oh, uh, away, away, away. Right, so I am off, see you guys later on. So, with less than an hour left of Christmas Day, it's... She's away to bed, so it's really just me at this point. Um, watching Effort for Family, the new season. This is a show we've watching since it came out, so... Um, periodically, it's kind of cool when they put a new season of it on Netflix. Um, this is not your final, but... I feel like this one will have to end just after midnight. I don't feel like a Christmas vlog should go past Christmas. I want it to only be, you know, Christmas. If that makes any sense to anybody watching so yeah um today's been actually quite decent i've enjoyed it this is probably as i'm someone like i'm not gonna get in there but i'm not someone who really enjoys christmas all that much um i haven't really like since maybe I, oh, fuck, at least nine ten years so this is one of the more enjoyable ones i've had in that kind of last decade so you know i've not been upset today i've not been like overly emotional or anything so like today that uh, uh today that's been a huge plus for me so I think I'm gonna get myself some snacks um
because uh, I'm a bit hungry. I'm also going to use the toilet. So it's funny, right? I have done no steps today. I don't know what it is with this phone, but he tried to set up the step counter app. It's been quite dodgy. Um, I'm going to have to set... I downloaded the, the same one from my last phone, which... I'm probably going to wait. Why do you have a step counter? Well, maybe I want to know my steps. Did any of you watching consider that? No. I don't know why you would. Let me set this gate shut. That dog keeps trying to go and fucking mess with things. It keeps knocking the gate. I'm going to have to fix this bit in with the wood because the that over there keeps trying to fuck with it. Which is a gigantic pain in the ass. I'm going to open this gate here. Push that door very hard. Make a joke in the comments. <laughs> I promise I am in no way trying to make this one longer just because it's Christmas. And that was sarcasm. Just here though, you guys have all noticed that all the vlogs are all on here, so I turn on certain lights, yet those are the ones. I want to turn on these kind of little under the thing. I remember when these lights first got installed, I think I was like, what? How was I when you, I was nine, right, when she moved in here, so. And I remember this whole kitchen, the whole house got renovated, right? And the funny story is, I remember touching these lights with my finger. I'm not going to reenact this as an adult, because I fucking remember how much that stung for about a week. It's like one of those burns. And it doesn't matter how much like cold water or whatever you put on it, it just does not stop hurting. So I'm gonna get a can of juice on it. I'm not gonna not get one. Mm. And we're gonna get some snacks. I'm gonna sit and watch the TV for a few hours. I think there's some cream in the fridge, so I'll throw some of that on. That's enough, because I'm not taking the heaviest portion in the world. Hmm. So, this one might have bored a lot of people, but I just want to take a long Christmas one because, well, I just want to. And you know, chances are probably going to be your next Christmas. That's. Mm, and I like the way that that's shut now. Mm. It's like nice, that's, that's secure. Mm. I was correct, there indeed was cream. Mm. 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 So what I'm gonna get, I've got the chocolate orange things. I'm gonna quickly let me push these to the edge because I don't want that fucking nug getting there.
I was talking about these, so I'm quickly take this in the can through, then come back for that in here. If you're still watching at this point. talk about when we go through so i always order from inside the uk no matter what i'm buying right i fuck i suppose tom would always for but for a while especially like i started to i know i sort of year or two i started to use the instagram space with the whole lego thing and there's a whole bunch of custom minifigure companies and it's really cool but like 99 percent of the ones i would like to buy from are us based but they do international shipping for a good like really good prices oh well, some of them do. like one or two of them are good prices the rest are like complete extortion so i was sitting thinking to myself it's christmas and it, like, sometimes i get moaned if i'm at a shit i order online and don't so that's actually quite fair because i do order a lot of shit online is evidenced by what you see in the vlogs but i'm thinking about ordering from one or two like you know well just the one like and i'm thinking about making it like a christmas and birthday only things i feel like i would go nuts and the amount of money sometimes the shipping can cost is a bastard there's this one that sells, like, see when it comes to LEGO doing battle droid variations, they're fine with the B1 battle droids, but there's some that they just don't do. This guy in America has a company called Jonak Toys, um, sells these customs, like the ones with the jetpacks, the super battle droids with the jetpacks. And it's like, I have bought custom clone troopers, as you guys have seen, but I have never went out my way and bought any other type of custom LEGO Star Wars minifigure. Plus, I make a cool review, the guy sells them for like £2.00. 50 right for a pack of two so maybe we're just getting like many kind of army going with them so it's a little idea but anyway i'm gonna sit and watch it two minutes past so i mean this vlog is definitely I've, listen if this one's not crazy long given how long some of these clips have been i'm gonna be surprised but i'm gonna eat this i'm gonna eat that i'm gonna drink that and i'm gonna sit on that okay i said this would never go past 12 i it's two minutes to one and that wasn't even a joke. Wow. So, what? I'm on the what episode of this season? So, I'm watching the fifth season of this. Always, like I said, um, do you know what? I was just going to keep the sections only, but screw it. I don't get to make one of these a year, so why not make it more longer and pointless? Where did, where's a bit you go on Netflix and it comes up exactly. One sec. Season 5 episodes, I've got maybe one or two episodes left of that season, but I'm going to continue to watch it. Um, one sec, I'm just going to get the episode to play again, then I'll hit pause. There we go. <laughs> Free goodies. Right, um, yeah, so I've been certainly looking at a range of custom websites, and honestly, one thing I always annoyed me, right, I don't know why it's annoying, I used to annoy you as a kid, right? See the Lego Star Wars video game, the, not the one that's out right now, you can buy on the Switch, PS5 and shit. Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, Lego Star Wars The Video Game, and Lego Star Wars The Original Trilogy. And even Lego Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars, some of my favourite games ever made. Right, now, see back in 2000... Right, uh, see back in 2005 and 6 when the, basically the original trilogy and Lego Star Wars The Video Game... Like, the Lego Star Wars video co covers episodes 1 through 3, the original trilogy is 4, 5, and 6. They were basically put into two games... Two th those two games were put into one game in 2007, so we're not going to talk about that one. But basically, in 05 and 06, not every Lego, basically not every Star Wars character from those movies that the game features had a Lego equivalent. So they had to make kind of renders of what they supposed it would look like. No, that's one o'clock. And obviously when Lego got around to making all those characters, obviously some of them, fuck, is still really recent. So it's like the renders don't, they don't look like anything like the renders the game came up with. Um, and there's a custom, and that used to annoy me because like some of those video game renders did look kind of cool to me. But there's a website I'll be looking at called Fig for Labs, um, that does all that sort of shit in the US. So having a good look at what they're offering. I need to take a shit. I'll be right back. All right, it's one thirteen, and I'm just back. Um, 
The Christmas dinner we had, as you saw, did not contain any gravy, so I uh, sent a Snapchat to a few I just got the comment back going, Stephen, that is a fucking insane asylum sentence. Like, how dare you have it without uh, gravy? Trust me, we didn't have any of the granulates, I think that's what you call them for the gravy. Uh, we had the store bought mix, but it just tasted Christmas tree. It said just tasted bad. So I'm going to send out this website, Fig for Labs. They have some really cool ones. Um, so I'm and they also sell some custom bricks and accessories. So I'm just kind of going through the list of ones that I like. And see for UPS, first international class postage, which apparently is the best. One you can get, 15 quid. See to buy anything from the US half the fucking time. Jesus Christ. So there's, I hate that about Lego custom minifigure sites, the fact that they're all US based. Majority of them, because... Some of them charge like 40, 50 pound fucking postage. This, this company's decent. This one's affordable. This is the can. I have two cans again. I have that dilemma. I gave myself the problem from earlier. Well done, me. But yeah, that's kind of just what I'm looking at. So, your next update is probably slated to be the last. Tomorrow's vlog, I don't know what the hell that's going to contain. I have no clue. But yeah. Some of these websites are actually cheaper. See, once you can do this, a lot of them, when you do them in dollar calculations, right, end up being shit expensive. But a lot of them have added this option where you can play about with the UK rate, so British pounds. And my friends are a lot cheaper when it's all added up that way, I'm telling you. So, yeah, I've not bought any custom Lego figures, I think, since March. Right in the last round, I got was those, those custom Phase 2 Rex. Because I said, for fucking, like, since 2020, when that... 2013 version of Rex shot up like a rocket. I always said I'm never, never going to buy that. What did I fucking do? What? Sorry, what came through the door this month? Said Clone Trooper. So, eh. Honestly, um, with this new battle pack... Sorry, I'm searching myself. With this new battle pack that comes out, I can't wait to see what my clone army looks like. This will be interesting. Because <laughs> if you go watch the video, right? On my Lego channel, which is Captain Rex Productions 72. I'll repeat that, Captain Rex Productions 72. My clone army is spread out in three sections over the base plate. There's plenty of See this here? I know my clone army cannot be contained by what? One 48 by 48 grey base plate can hold what? A hundred and something minifigures? Um, I think it's between like, I think it's like 180 or something. So basically, my whole clone army does no longer fit on a Le Lego base plate. So there's going to be like no gaps between legions of like a solid bit of white, a schedule. Like I'm going to show you guys at some point when I go back, but obviously I'm not going to film another clone army video for just over five months, but screw it. I'm really curious to see what it fucking looks like. Anyway, I'm going to go chill for a bit. Um, I'll update you. I think I'm going to FaceTime anyway, so... I'll see you guys soon, which, I mean, I don't know if it'll be the last update of the vlog. I actually have no clue, but I'm going to try and get it. It's going to be uploaded on the 26th, which I can't just realise we are in. Damn, Christmas is over. Hmm. Oh, well. Welcome to the end of oh, Welcome to the end of Christmas 2023. It is about to click over. I'm not even fucking up there to look. Actually, any second now, that'll click over to, say, 4 in the morning. What in the fuck? Um... Jesus Christ, so I'm going to start packing up to go through, um, just going to chuck that in there, I'll quickly chuck that one in my back, crush it so I can fit my back pocket so I can take it through and record, but this is the final clip of Christmas 2023, um, mind you, knowing today, ever, like, most of the clips were trying to be five minutes, but they've all ended up being, like, fucking ten or fucking close enough to that. So, yeah. So I'm going through, I don't even know if I'm going to fucking sleep. I can honestly see this being an all-nighter, which... The bad thing is my body's actually so fucking used to doing this. Like, that's not even a good thing. Like, that's not even something that... Oh, God. Like, that's not even something I want to go about. <laughs> Yeah. Kind of nuts that Christmas is already over. Um, honestly, it felt like a first anticipation for nothing because, but I enjoyed it. 
It was one of those, I enjoyed the fact that you know, this year my mental clarity was a bit more better. Cause last year I was nearly in tears constantly. I was just due to personal reasons, but this year felt like a really good one. So no complaints there. And then I'm gonna plug in my charger. I don't have to take myself how long left of this episode, I'll watch it. But that is how long of left of the episode I'm going to have. I'm walking on those custom sites. I finally took me fucking ages to find one that I've been looking for. And honestly, fucking overjoyed when I finally got down and found the website. So, heh, no complaints there. Um. So I'm not saying I will, I will 100% order from a custom menu for this site, but I'm definitely tempted to do so. Right. That's all there's nothing to take with me, so let's start the process of turning things off. Again, I think tomorrow's more or less just going to, or the next vlog rather, will be spent mostly going around kind of stores and stuff. But I'm going to have to figure out how the fuck you turn that Christmas tree off. Right, um, this lamp I'm guessing is a touch lamp. Is it not? No, it's, I'm trying to see if it's got one of them little thing, twist things on it. No, it's only sort of switches, like so. But you know, this year was good. I enjoyed it. Alexa, turn lights off. Alexa, lights off. All oh, right, maybe behind this. Sorry, line two is not responding. There we go. The other lamp I know it's like that same lamp I have in the bedroom. It's just it's just a flick of the switch, then off. So simple. Well, you touch it. Yes, and that for viewers wondering, that is the goddamn World Trade Center on a lamp. I thought I wasn't sure, but I even got the little buildings surrounding it, which are like the financial center. That is in New York. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Right, now you get the fishies light and then we are good to go. Yeah, there's quite a few lights when you do. This is it. There we go. But, yeah, um, we're not done. I'm going to keep going. Fuck's sake, he's thrashing around in there. Turn off these lights as well. It's like most of this clip's gonna be fucking off switching off lights. Oh yeah, and the can of juice and the charger are in my back pocket, these, these trousers can hold quite a lot. So, that's the first Christmas on this vlog channel, hopefully many, the original channel had two on it, which were unfortunately, you know, lost. But, yeah, that was great, I mean, obviously there was breaks in between, I did so my foot coming around here it was in my way and annoying me. Um Yeah, I play my hair and it's like a compulsive thing if you've not realised, but yeah, um I I really enjoyed it. Um the reason this clip comes so is I spent fucking well, nearly two hours on FaceTime with the girlfriend and then watch TV for probably fucking further ever was on those custom like custom websites for fucking hours. There's still one website I wanna try and check quickly find to see if it's up because they have some really cool shit that I like. But I have the name of that one down so um yeah. 
that's probably just about it. Um, I enjoyed doing this. This is different because normally I'd be at home with my family, and I think at this point, I would obviously have been well asleep at this point. You know, just to kind of keep me all the deal with people. Um, last time I was spent Christmas in Edinburgh since 2014. And like I said at the start of the vlog, I can't really believe how long ago that actually was. That's kind of mental to think about. <laughs> when you really think about it. Um, I hope you guys like the Christmas shot as well. Like, God, the, the baby Yoda kind of grow, oh, not maybe a Grogu thing, kind of Star Wars design. Ah, that's a cool look. Let's me get this shot ready. Like I said, this clip will end up being fucking 10 minutes long. It's like, this is all the clip is. There is no end in sight, obviously. Okay. Just clear some of the crap in the bed. It gets cold in here at night and I've got this really cool it's a Nirvana hoodie I got when I was like, what, fucking 14 or 15? And I've... I used to just put it on like my five hoodies and then I got a little rip in it and it's not one of those fabrics that you can really repair and have it look good. Or maybe it is, I don't think it was. But it's a big hoodie and... Basically I use it for painting and decorating something and I'll sleep in it. Somebody can call me a filthy hobo in the comments if they want to I do not give a fuck. <sighs> but yeah, I mean, I love that. As an adult, Christmas in the last couple of years has been like depressing. It's not really like because of that lack of gifts or anything. It's fuck it because I used to see that at Christmas, right? Um, or the last couple of years, like, wait, that's just that you just getting drunk and arguing with each other. But you know, this year it's been a lot more popular. I've ever enjoyed myself. And you know, it was kind of nice because um, having all those people message me today because I got a message on Christmas phone or. Merry Christmas, but I'm even fucking texting someone, a co-worker right now, who has slept like fuck for multiple days on end. Congratulations to him, because I know for a fact I don't have that fucking superpower. So if I'm wondering, am I just going to go straight to sleep? I know for a fact I won't. In fact, I don't even know if I'm going to go to sleep. Um, that, too, is up for debate. Um, that Lego Advent Calendar video is doing pretty well. See, it's not that I do the retro ones, because I think that they're going to do well, it's... A nostalgia thing. Christmas theme. Christmas theme. Pajamas on. <laughs> Again, I wear this hoodie because it really keeps you warm in here. Do you more glasses to put this on? Again, I don't know what the next vlog will feature, but I know for a fact it probably won't be as long as this one. I hope to God it isn't. Because you know, technically, um, this isn't my idea of a Christmas special, but it was nice. And one thing that I always write got me as a kid and still gets me as an adult, right? Is Christmas isn't is fun, and then it's kind of nuts that like, once you hit Christmas, you're basically just like a week, exactly, until the first of January, which is mental. I can see myself being back for New Year's, hopefully. Um, that all just depends on work and how they want to do things. Um, yeah. I don't really know. I'm gonna put put this in. Basically, um, as far as that goes, they've not updated the schedule yet. Which I, they won't have anyway. Especially not today, anyway, because you know what? Oh, fuck. It's what fucking time was it? it? No, today was Christmas Day. So, or, or this vlog took place on Christmas Day, into the twenty sixth. So I was after work on the twenty fourth. So unless they updated it. While I was at work on the 24th, then it's not going to have changed at all. One second. Something down at the bottom. Just put weight in front of you, pulling the cover all the way up. <laughs> so, I don't know what you guys thought this vlog. Yes, it's long out, long and probably very boring. But. I enjoyed it. It's not as Christmassy as one at home would have been. Whereas, you know, all the Christmas music's wearing, and the kids running around and just doing kid things. But, listen, I still enjoy doing this. The only thing I feel was 100% missing would have been some snow outside. Um, Yeah, I, I feel I enjoy it. I'm not as annoyed. Because I remember... <laughs> 
What are my cousins doing? As a kid, you hate Christmas as an adult. Do I actually? I mean, I prefer it a bit more as an adult. But uh, that's just me. So I'm going to be looking on these custom websites. I guarantee you, I do not fucking sleep. Come back and the next vlog will start in like a fucking couple hours. Let's see what time we on now? It must be like also something past four. Cause we started at like less than a minute to four. It's ten past four. So um yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you very much for watching. This has been a Christmas special. Just as shit as the rest of the world. Can't wait to see how long this fucker ended up being. See you guys tomorrow. I thought it would be kind of funny to quickly add in before I go what time I'm actually going to sleep. Just to make this slightly more complete. Yeah. I'm prolonging this motherfucker even more. Guess what time it is? It's fucking 11 minutes past 5. So nearly an hour of which we're just sat texting at work all week. <laughs> and looking at those custom new for websites yeah there's definitely a few that i'm considering now it's all based on postage times and postage amount but there's one that's just got some really cool shit so not ordering right now but definitely considering anyway guys i'm this time i'm actually i promise i'm going to bed <laughs> um so yeah just checking the time like i said i'm gonna reply a couple more messages then i'm going to sleep probably gonna get up around ugh, fuck if I go up at 10, that's 5 hours. But I want to get up at 10 to be slightly productive because it's my last day. And tomorrow I need to be up right, right fucking early and try and get on a bus for about 11. I start work at 3, but would be like to do the odd thing or two before 3. I eat, really, I don't know, go home and drop off my shit. I have no clue. I'll figure that out when it comes to it. Oh god. Right. Just gonna fix my pillow here. Um, I'm quite clear if I can just have the family I think on the, on the PSP just the background noise while I go to sleep. You know, you can tell I'm trying to prolong the fuck out of this walk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, like, I know I've prolonged a few in bad ways, but this one takes the fucking cake. Let's see, is the PSP going? I actually should probably just plug it in because wouldn't be goddamn surprised if it yep. immediately cut out there. So it is, I think I paused it when I went through this morning and then just left it on. I think that's quite what we did. I'm not surprised myself that I've not set up and played fucking Grand Theft Auto. Well, I can actually set up for a little bit and play it. Hmm. Uh, this one. A part of me is just slightly tempted not to fucking sleep at this point. Hmm. I'm curious, well, let's see if my last uh, new spot on this. Turning the volume down this far. Look, actually, uh, I'm pretty sure that's not what it was. Let's, let's play. Let's put the jack up to the quality on this. Let's wait a few seconds before we have to look copyright material. Can't copyright me because it's on a fucking PSP, it's not a full screen, and there's no sound, so fuck you, Fox, and fuck you, Disney. Look, it's a it's decent quality you know, for what that is. So Yeah, I might just put this on in the background. I was like I said, tempted to sit and play. This is what one of these PSP discs looks like for anyone who's curious. I want to even stop following the fucking vlog. But yeah, I'm going on in the background, so I'm actually gonna put this where my phone is. I'll turn up the volume. Mm. Once I end this clip, because I'm not getting a fucking copyright on this bastard. Pretty cool, eh? I need to get that TV working, I've just never been bothered to actually sit and fucking do it. I need to get a control of this 360 as well. Oh, pig that. But this time I'm genuinely off the sweep. Um, it's probably funny I added the sweep time before I'm out of the vlog. Mm.